understanding the, the way the dark web operates helps us understand how cyber criminals create malware and provide services to each other in order to make the malware undetectable as much as possible and in order to distribute it. Um, quite often when we monitor their forums, the dark web forums that where the cyber criminal communicate and sell their services, we get to learn about new strains of malware we have not seen before. Um, a good example is that a while ago we saw a new version of a, an exploit kit, actually in beta. They were just developed it and they were asking other cyber criminals to test it and see how it worked. It has not been used out on the open web yet. So by monitoring their forums, we get a lead on their plans and then we can take uh, the necessary actions to add detection, train our SOC centers and be prepared to pro better protect our customers. There are several services on the dark web for creating, obscuring, and distributing malware. The dark web uh, now use, uh, includes gangs with expertise in the different areas and different, they provide different services. So for example, some would create pieces of malware on demand based on the requirements of their customers, like a piece of ransomware, a piece of rat, uh, uh, a Trojan, etc. Other gangs can take a piece of friends, a malware and create new mutations that are undetectable by any antivirus out there or by most of the antiviruses out there. Other gangs run um, infrastructures such as exploit kits and botnets for actually distributing the malware. Um, a cyber criminal that would like to monetize a piece of ransomware such as uh, a piece of malware such as ransomware has to figure out a way to infect many people with that malware. It's not simple. Either they need to craft some social engineering attack or they need to use some exploits. None of them is trivial. So there are gangs that would do that for him. He hands them the piece of malware and there is some pricing model that they use and they would uh, infect as many customers as they are paid to do. When we investigate those themes and understand how they work, how they're obfuscated, how they show on the network, over the network, on the web, in email, we can improve our product to be very effective in blocking those threats and better protect our customers.